Super Dog. The Dog of the Year show was on television. I love the dog way the dog and I love the way the dogs run so quickly," said Mom. They seem to enjoy it too. They they watch a dog called Pepper. She ran quickly and didn't make a mistake. I hope Pepper wins," said Chip. The next call, the next dog's world was called Ruffles. Ruffles. Keeper liked him more than Pepper. I want a Ruffer reference to win," said Keeper. Look how he fast can run. Abram was exciting as Ruffles came came to the. And but he didn't win. Pepper did. I know Pepper would win," said Biff. Floppy was on the floor. Biff picked him with. Floppy was sleep on the floor. Biff picked him with her toe. We got Floppy," she said. "Look at all those dogs clever on the television." Why can't you do clever things like them? Floppy opened one eye, then he yawned and went back to sleep. The next day, Biff, Chip, and Kipper went outside to play. Wolf and Wilma came round. Floppy was fast asleep on the grass. Did you see the dog of the year show on television? Asked Biff. Yes, it was brilliant," said Wilma. I wonder wondered if Floppy do some of the things we saw on television," said Chip. Biff found a box. Come on, Floppy," she said. "Let's see what you can do. Jump." On this box, Floppy looked at the box. Oh no, I'm too old to do tricks. He thought. The children made a course for Floppy. It had all kind of things for him to run, run around, or jump over. Over. We must give him a treat every time he does well," said said Biff. "That's that's the way to tra train the dogs." Oh no," thought Floppy. "I don't believe this." At first, Floppy did quite well, but he soon got tired and fed up. He didn't like to the way children shouted at him all at the same time. I didn't want to be dog of the year. Dog of the year said he thought. I'm just to be left alone. Oh, Floppy, you're hopeless," said Kipper. Wilma's mom came round. She wanted to take everyone swimming. Floppy liked going swimming with Wilma's mom. She always bought buy, buys ice cream, and he buy ice cream us an ice cream. Buy us an buy ice, cream. ice buy us an ice cream. He says. Floppy. Floppy was pleased. Pleased too. He just wants to feed, fed, find a quiet place to sleep. Floppy crept up to Biff's room. He knew Biff and Chip wouldn't back for a long time. He almost asleep when something made him open one eye. 
The magic key was glowing. Dogs don't have magic adventure by themselves, do they? The magic began to work. Floppy was in a big city. The city was full of people and traffic. Everyone was busy. They were, they were noise everywhere. Well, thought Floppy. So this is a big city. I, I never seen so many people, and I, I never seen such a tall building. What a place! Floppy explored the city. She came to a steep hill. A tram took a tram took people up and down the hill. He he had. Seen busy like those before. He had never seen buses like this before. A lady went past with two dogs. What funny dogs! Thought Floppy. I haven't seen dogs with clothes on before. There was a pram out. Outside in the shop, in the pram was a baby. Suddenly, the pram began to move. The baby's mother had forgot to the put to put the brakes on. At first, nobody saw pr pram moving, but then it began to move faster and faster. Stop that pram! Shh. Someone shouted. The pram rolled out into the road. By now, it is going too fast for anyone to stop. Oh no! Screamed the mother. My baby will be killed. Do some something, somebody. Floppy saw the pram running down the hill. The This looked like a job for me," he thought. Floppy ran after the pram and grabbed it with his teeth. He stopped it just in time. Phew! That was a close thing," thought Floppy. Everyone came run running up. Do you see that dog, dude? Shouted a man. He's a, it's a hero. He saved my baby. Cried the mother. Abel made a fuss of Floppy. Did you see that dog? People said. He stopped a、uh, running the tram. He's a super dog. Shaman shouted, "It was nothing," thought Floppy. Suddenly, he saw something else happening. A lady had put her hand back with her shopping. Suddenly, a thief grabbed the hand back and ran with with it. Ran away with it. Help! Shouted the lady. My hand back has gone. Another job for Super Doll," thought Floppy. Floppy ran after the thief. The thief tried to get over the wall, but Floppy was too quick for him. He grabbed the man by his by his trouser, and the man. Drip, drop the handbag. God, gotcha! Groaned the floppy. All right, all right, said the thieves. I didn't mean to keep, keep it anyway. People made a fuss of floppy. This dog is hero. Someone shouted. He got my handbag. Handbag back, said the old lady. It had all my money in it.
This dog is really is super dog, said a man. It was nothing, thought Floppy. A big ship was coming in. Floppy went to the dock, dock to see it. There were a lot of people watching the ship. Some of were waving. The people were so exciting that some of them went too close to the edge of the dock. Suddenly, Floppy saw something happening. A boy would have fell fell in the water. Everyone was cheering, so nobody saw the boy fell in. Another job for Super Dog, thought Floppy. Floppy jumped in in the water and swam to the little boy. Oh no! Shouted Man, my 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 little boy. My little boy, he's in the water. Don't worry, someone called. He'll he'll be all right. Super Dog will save him. Floppy held the boy's shirt in his teeth and pulled the boy out of the water. What dog? Said the man. He saved my son. Think nothing of it. Thought Floppy. There were a story about in the newspaper. There were some pictures of him too. Abraham was wanted to read about Floppy the hero. The newspaper said that Floppy was called Super Dog. It's better than calling Floppy," thought Floppy. Everywhere Floppy went, people said, "There is a super dog. He's a hero." When Floppy across the road, all the cars stopped to let him across. "It's Super Dog!" shouted a car. The car drivers, "Can we take you anywhere? Do you need a lift?" There were some mean dogs in the city. The mean, meanest dog was called Fan. He went around with dog called Hook and the dog called Snap. Fan, Hook, and Snap met the lost dog. We don't like the dog who wear coats," groaned Fan. What are you doing in our part of town? Floppy saw what happening. He walked up to Fang, Hook, and Snap. I hope you're not being nasty to this last dog. He says, "Er, no, no, of course not, Super Dog," said Fang. We were just offering, offering, offering to take him home. Don't worry," said Floppy. "I'll take him." Some men were working on the tall building. It was dangerous working so high up. Suddenly, one of the men slipped and fell. He was on the girder and couldn't get off. The fire service ran to the rescue, but the ladder weren't long enough. We need to oh, we need to get the ro- rope to him. But how? Shouted one of the firemen. We can use a helicopter. A crew. A crowd of people. Stood in the street, everyone looked up at the building. Some will to take care the roof to him, but who? Shouted a man. Another little job for me, thought Super Dog.
Floppy went to rescue. He took the rope in his teeth. Then he slowly across the girder to the man. Don't look down, Super Dog! Shouted the man. It's a long way to fail. Oh dear! Thought Floppy. Why am I doing this, this adventure? I don't like being up here. The man grabbed the rope from Floppy. Thank you, Super Dog. He called. You are a real hero. Everyone cheered. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. It was time for Floppy's adventure to end. I can't say I am sorry. Thought Floppy. Beth was cross when she found it. Floppy on her bed. You know you mean to sleep on the bed, she said. What a bad dog you are, Floppy! Floppy jumped off the bed and crept downstairs. I don't know, he thought. I am here in one minute, and the bad dog next. The children took Floppy outside. It is time to do the dog of ear course again. They said suddenly. Floppy ran off. He jumped over the fence and ran away as fast as he can. Come back, you bad dog! Shouted Chip. Floppy ran into the park and hid in the giant pipe. They won't find me. In here, he thought. I didn't want to be the dog of the ear, and I'm not super dog. I'm just me. I'm just a old floppy who wants a bit of peace. The end.